Hi guys, this is Paul. I'm here with Tweak Town, and right now we're sitting down with Supermicro to talk about some of their server solutions that they brought along. Supermicro has a long history delivering enterprise solutions, and now they're kind of branching out into more of the consumer side, bringing some of that reliability and their real legendary validation, actually, you guys are known for that, into this space. So if you want to give us kind of a quick cover of some of the abilities of this product. Sure, sure. Uh, so my, my name is Bert Shen. I'm a dual processor motherboard product manager at Supermicro. So for dual processors, obviously, on the higher end, um, we have very uh, high class enterprise systems. We do a little bit of consumer side with the workstations from, from a DP perspective. Um, but that's where Supermicro's fundamentals were. And uh, we've, we've really taken that, um, uh, these enterprise class motherboards uh, throughout the years made some really fantastic products, some really unique products. For example, uh, this board that I have right here is the X9DRX. So um, this X9DRX plus dash F, it actually has 11 PCIe slots on it. So you're not going to find another board like this out on the market. And it's hard for people to understand the size of that board oh, yeah. compared to a, a typical consumer mm -hmm. motherboard. That is a beast. And those sockets are all of those, the PCIe slots are all of those PCIe 3.0? Yeah, so actually 10 of these are PCIe Gen 3 wow. by 8. Um, there's also one PCIe 2.0. We basically try to give as much expandability as possible. I mean, this board is going to be good for your uh, network security appliances, um, for uh, for different applications like that. Basically where you need to plug in a lot of cards at a time, get a lot of I.O. bandwidth, and this is the board that gets you to there. Uh, so you can spend uh, you know, less money you know, with memory and CPUs and more money on the I.O. expansion. So this is the perfect fit for that. Absolutely, and what kind of internet or connectivity does it have? For network on the end. So there's um, a dual port one gigabit Ethernet. That's pretty standard across most of our boards. I'm going to talk about another board in a second that has dual port 10G uh, on there. So that's uh, an upgraded. Um, we also always offer, and let me show on the back here. Uh, we have the dual port one gig. We also have a management port as well, and we we want to make sure that there's. Um, uh, ways to, to manage the, the system remotely. It's very important, uh, especially for an enterprise class system. Absolutely. And could you tell us a little about this product? Yeah. So this is the X9DRH-7TF. And so um, uh, this board is really special. Um, this is one of my favorites because it's a small form factor. This is actually an EATX form factor, uh, 12 inches by 13 inches. But we just pack the features on there. Um, so with the PCIe slots, typically you get five, maybe six on an EATX board. This one, if you count them up, there's actually seven. Uh, this, this slot is practically touching the dim, so we really try squeezing it in there. And uh, with seven slots, there's a lot of applications where you just need that additional I.O. expansion. Can't get it anywhere else on this, this kind of form factor. But in addition to the, to the seven slots here for expansion, where you could put a storage card or a network card, uh, we have two additional um, controllers that can be on here. So in this case, um, you can have a SAS controller, a SAS2, an LSI2208, mm -hmm. the very high-end hardware rate. Uh, we also have on the back uh, dual 10G ports. So um, uh, being able to squeeze in a 10G uh, down the board, being able to squeeze a SAS2, you're going to save 70 to 80% cost compared to adding an extra card. And in addition, when you get down the board, you don't have to put an extra card on there. So really, you're getting expansion for nine different slots. When you count the seven slots plus the two controllers right here, um, that provides you a ton of expansion in this small compact form factor, this Excellent. EATX. And I also noticed that there's plenty of connectivity for SATA devices as well. Right, right. So on this board, um, with the white ports here, you get two ports of SATA 3, then you get uh, uh, multiple ports of SATA 2, and that's in addition to the SAS ports that would be populated right here, uh, where you get eight ports direct attached for SAS 2. Excellent. So there's plenty of connectivity there. Yep. And then now we kind of move on to some of the, the more client-side offerings. Can you give us a few words about this? Well, this one's the X10 SAT. This is more of a consumer board. Um, it, as you know, Supermicro is very well known for its server motherboards and Absolutely. everything, and for its durability and reliability. So this is one of our entry levels into the uh, motherboards uh, in gamings. So what you have here is the X10 SAT. Over here you have several, um, you, know, you have the audio, and you have also the uh, SATA, and basically it's uh, made for gamers that really want to overclock their CPUs. Uh, one of the things we've seen in the past with overclocking CPUs is sometimes it'll overheat the motherboard. Motherboard will start uh, cranking out too much power. There's going to be a little bit of defects in it. So what we do is we do test these into several testing chambers going from 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. And so some of that experience that you, that you guys have in the enterprise and in that intense validation, you know, OEM boards and things of that nature go through very, 10 oh, times the amount of validation definitely. that a client. So that 
that experience is translated over oh, to yeah. these as well. You're going to have a consumer that's going to use one of their high power uh, GPU cards, you know, has uses 300 watts, whatever. It just, and this is basically made for that. It's going to be able to cool it. Now, if there's an error, we have an LED here. It'll tell you exactly what the error is occurring. Excellent. And so you could find that out, and then you could actually diagnose the product much quicker. So that's one of the advantages that we have here. And over here, you have these SATA ports. It's all ready to go, and you have memory of 32 gigabytes. Excellent. And basically, what we do is we do t stress test it at these high degrees temperatures. We just don't run it. We stress test it. So like uh, we have, you know, the, you know, the gamers, they're going to be all into the room, and everything's going to be super hot. They're going to be middle of the game. Absolutely. And when you're in the middle of the game, what's going to happen? If, you, if it's not cool, right, it's going to crash. Right, exactly. So we got to check for that. So that's one of the advantages that we have. We do test this from 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. Excellent. And this is doing stress testing. Not just making it sit and that's it, but we're just doing stress testing stuff. So. Excellent. And that will translate into more reliability further down the line. And then we also have this little board here. You want to give us a few words on that? Actually, I want to first talk about it. Can, Bert, can you bring that little board up there? See, look at the comparison. What you have here? Absolutely. Now, that dual processor is very powerful. Extremely powerful. What Intel is trying to do with the newer processors, they're trying to, oh, use less power, mm -hmm. uh, get better performance, and what you have here is a mini ITX board. You have a uh, perfect solution for digital signage, perfect solution for, oh, even in a hospital medical area, because what you have here is a tin layer board. It's been tested very well. You have uh, uh, basically all these slots for the, you got the SATA, uh, four uh, network um, connectivities here, and um, you have up to 16 gigabytes of memory. The advantage about this board is that it's very compact. It's used right now in some certain medical areas mm -hmm. where you need that reliability. This also uses ECC memory. Excellent. So right there, you have the reliability of ECC memory. Uh, you also have SATA ports here. You have SATA 3, SATA 2 is there. Excellent. So that's one of the advantages about this particular board. It is very durable. It's a uh, high level, and it could uh, display up to three uh, displays. Oh, wow. Excellent. Yeah, you see all this in this little board. Absolutely. So that's one of the advantages about this. and. You have this, and we also have chassis as well in, in Supermicro that though goes with this, and it's becoming very popular. Excellent. So we do deal with the medical field. We do deal with, um, oh, basically the finance uh, district as well, um, where they, knew they do need reliability. And this is where this comes in with the ECC memory. Excellent. Okay. Well, and, you know, oh, it's okay. pretty clear. Well, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We also have uh, MSAT. Oh, MSAT, and that's important, too, because there aren't a lot of motherboards, even mini ATX, that actually uh -huh. include MSATA. And for something like this that would, you know, usually be in as dense of a package as possible, right. that's right. an important feature. Right. And, and you know, an endurance and things like that, and being able to handle heat is also very important for something like this. Exactly. So that's what we have here. Um, there's a lot more features. I'll definitely give you a documentation. I'll tell you about the features. But if we go on with the features, it's just incredible. It's just an amazing little board. Okay. And what you have here is like the large boards that Bert talked about. Fantastic, great product, and we all go to the Solidus Mini ITX. Excellent. It seems like you guys have a range of products, and we will continue to review some of those. We actually have a few reviews up, and we will continue to bring those out and give you guys the lowdown on these boards. And I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you.